Hello there viewers, welcome back to a week in review. This week we are looking at how NNDM has moved from Monday until Friday. We can see ultimately the share price is down again. From today we have actually made a little bit of a gain, obviously from market open until close, or at least coming towards close now. We're up by about 3% apparently according to Google, which isn't the largest gain that we could have made, but of course it is a small step in the right direction. As of current, the price of NNDM is about $7. 716 on my screen right here and we can see this is fairly cheap now for those of you who are looking for a bit more of an in-depth look at this stock we have done that last episode we covered the ceo we covered how much money the company has available and how it's almost as much as a whole market cap of the company and how this is a really unique thing anyway we talked about all those fundamentals in that video it was published like last week i will probably tag it in or at least card it in right now hopefully if i do remember it should be somewhere in this video for you to watch but tonight we're just simply looking at how the share price has been moving this week and what i personally think to it it will be a relatively quick video guys but if you will enjoy it make sure to smash that like button and obviously subscribe if you haven't already because we talk about nana dimension and many other of your favorite socks every single day but as always guys thank you for watching this video but we are going to jump straight straight into it now looking at how this stock has been moving we're going to start off over on the more technical yahoo finance charts and get a bit more detail of this one so first detail that we are going to focus on is the volume of the stock we can see the general volume if we do quickly have a highlight of how it does move on an average daily basis making a quick you know look at how it has moved in the past so on flat days we do see volume of about uh, 44 million up here about about 39 down here up on these more flat days we've seen 84 32 and again that is generally speaking how volume does move now, when it does pick up, we do see pretty high volume sometimes for this stock. But today, we have seen volume of about 9.7 million, apparently. And subsequently, the share price hasn't moved by much. In context, yesterday's volume was about 21 million. And the day before that saw 15. And the day before that saw about 40. So again, volume today is quite low for Nano Dimension stock. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It isn't necessarily a good thing. Ultimately, it was enough to bring us into the green. And we can see that candlestick is really quite strong. So what I mean by that is, if we look a bit closer today we can see of course this candlestick is really pushing up to the upside we can see that obviously the body of the candle is much higher than the wick which is sticking out to the downside and of course the body of the candle is actually pushing all the way up because you can see we got this wick to the downside and not one to the upside so this indicates a lot of buying pressure so far for nndm today which is good and again it is a step in the right direction but ultimately guys what i really want to focus on with this company is fundamentals it's all fine looking at the charts don't get me wrong and they do tell us a lot of stuff about the stock and how it has been moving for instance in my personal opinion and again this is just an opinion i think we could be coming towards an end of the sell-off and i would love that to be the case or perhaps even for it to dip a bit lower so we can get more shares at a discount but yeah it does look like we might be coming towards a bit of an end with the, with a sell-off if we are lucky so I think realistically for me at least it is the fundamentals of nano dimension which do make it such a decent company they have a lot of uh, money available obviously they potentially are looking for something like an acquisition or a merger going forwards they have a great CEO they have some staff with some real experience as we have discussed previously in many videos I think right now is it a buy to me guys it is a steal at, at, at seven dollars roughly it is not a bad price at all a lot of the market has been selling off recently and that is fine nano dimension saw highs up here of about what 16 17 dollars and of course we have come down a lot from there now does that mean that this is a bad stock absolutely not it's basically half the price of what it was at the highs and in my opinion that makes it a pretty decent steal ultimately like i said i think the fundamentals do speak for themselves and i think that is why going forwards i would consider this one to be a strong company and to give it a strong buy rating in my personal opinion but obviously i am not a financial advisor and this is just what i personally believe but i think where we stand right now is very interesting so would i buy this one right now honestly guys i personally would i think it is not the not the worst price that we have been seeing if we're looking to set price targets for this one i think at seven dollars is not bad i could see this one doubling in the next year perhaps even more than that again depending on if we get news of something like an acquisition or a merger or something like that uh, coming down the line again that definitely could see the company expand even further from a financial standpoint and take the share price up with it so that could be a good thing you know short term and long term but right now i think with the current fundamentals of the company i think the financials this year are going to be much better than 2020 because if we do remember 
that the financials for 2020 were, I mean, to be honest, they were abysmal. Now, the company does blame the pandemic for that, which is a reasonable response, in my opinion. But I think subsequently, we're going to be seeing much better financials this year. And again, that should definitely help the company to prosper a bit more in their share price. So definitely, guys, I do consider this one a strong buy. That's just my personal opinion, though. I would see this one potentially being a double in stock, maybe even a bit more than that. So I definitely think it could hit about $14 easily in the next 12 months, maybe even more than that. Again, if the market conditions do permit. So the reason why NNDM is so cheap at the moment, it was selling off anyway, that's fine. And then we had this whole market crash thing, market correction, which sent the price even lower. So again, it's just unfortunate factors for NNDM, sent the price to an ultimate low where we are right now. And there is potential for it to dip a bit lower. But personally, I think it's not going to be by too much. So I definitely would consider this a buy, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.